Hi, my name's Nick. I'm the product manager for process analyzers here at Yokogawa, Australia and New Zealand. Today, I want to talk to you about a unique pH sensor that's new to our product range. Yokogawa has been able to enjoy a great reputation for being able to tackle the harshest applications in pH for a long time now. And one of the reasons is we've got such a great range of pH sensors available to choose from. But how do you know which pH sensor is correct for you? First, let me explain how a pH sensor actually works. In the process plant, you may see a pH sensor looks something like this. It's housed in a nice flow fitting to allow the process to pass past it. But if I take the top off, we can see all the different elements that are inside. A pH sensor is actually made up of four different elements. In here, we can see a temperature element, a pH reference element, our pH glass element, and also a liquid earth, which is sometimes known as the solution ground. We know that pH is uh, quite maintenance intensive and requires frequent looking after. So you can imagine something like this can be quite cumbersome to look after in the plant. Therefore, we know that a lot of people prefer what we call a combined sensor. And we can see that here. In a combined sensor, all four of the elements are housed in one body. It offers great convenience for easy installation and easy maintenance. Two of the things that we want to promote for good pH measurement. However, it doesn't offer great flexibility in your choice. The benefit of this is we can choose a reference element that's appropriate to our process and also a glass element that's appropriate to our process. In pH measurement, 90% of our problems are related to that reference junction. And if I take this reference out of this fitting, I can show you in more detail. A reference element is actually a silver silver chloride pin that's held in a salty solution. And what this provides is a nice stable millivoltage as a reference point. But over time, this, ref this salt solution depletes, process can enter from the bottom, it changes the condition that the reference element is in, and that's where drift comes from in our pH measurement. And it's the reason for such frequent calibration. Because of this, we change the type of reference junction material that we have. We also change the type of reference junction that we have in terms of flowing or static references. This particular sensor is a flowing reference. We can see here, this one's a little bit different. It has some bellows inside. And the reason is, even in flowing references, reference solution is subject to changes in the process conditions. Changes in pressure and changes in temperature can allow the process to enter through the junction and change the condition of this solution. These bellows want to expand all the time. And inside the here, you can see a glass tube inside the tube. That inner glass tube is open to the process, which means that now both sides of these bellows are open to the process at equal pressures. And they will continue to expand at their natural rate. And this provides us a nice steady flow of reference solution, and it helps us keep the condition of our reference remaining stable for much longer periods and enables longer periods between maintenance and calibration. This hasn't traditionally been available in our combined sensor. So in difficult applications, we've had to look for this combination setup. And it allows us to operate in abrasive applications, in chemically harsh applications, as well as ultra pure water applications. So Yokogawa has been able to develop Another combined sensor known as the FU24 and they've housed that bellomatic reference system within the body of this sensor. So now we've got our pH glass element, our temperature and liquid earth element and the reference element housed safely behind those bellows and behind two process junctions. So now we've got the ability to tackle those harsh applications with the convenience of easy installation of a combined sensor, which also promotes good maintenance and will eventually result in more accurate pH measurement. The other added bonus of this sensor is it allows more installation locations. Because of the bellow system, it's quite unique. It can actually be installed upside down. So in parts of the process plant, you have where space is limited or access is limited, it opens up more options for installation. 
I hope you found this presentation interesting and if you have any further questions please feel free to contact us at Yokogawa Australia and New Zealand. Thank you.